Hi, I'm Kara Hart of the Disabled Artist Foundation, and this particular month, um, I'm hoping that you're inspired by the items in your kit to make many different things. I do love once we get very close to the fall season, and we're going to kick this fall season off with a bang. Um, in your kit this month, for those of you who are in the Happy Pack program, um, in your kit this month, you have a ball of twine, way more than you can possibly use for this piece of art. So please go look up on the web um, many different ways to do hemp projects, hemp bracelets, hemp art, hemp 3D. Um, you do have Elmer School Glue, which is when you mix it 50-50 with water, makes some amazing things like bowls and balls and Christmas decorations and such. So everybody gets a ball of this. Some are bigger, some are smaller. In addition, in your kit, or if you just want to make along with us, I just decided 13 seconds ago I'm going to add a foam brush in the kit. So you will receive a foam brush. You're going to receive a bottle of Elmer School Glue, uh, a mechanical pencil, a whole bunch of different uh, color pencils, but they're all just regular pencil lead. Um, a package of way more halfback, and I'll just show you what they look like. These, let me see if I can get the lighting to work right. These blingy things, and one half of it's flat, and the other half is all blingy. And we'll be using these to make the tree, the tree um, leaves, and the art today. And so, if you'd like to, you can squeeze out your Elmer's glue into a protected. I just use saran wrap when I do mine. Um, into a protected surface. Uh, you can mix it 50-50 with water or use just straight glue. And then you dip your yarn into that mixture and you can lay it on your canvas or do the art that way. I'm not going to do that today because I just don't have time for it to dry. It's a crazy busy week. Um, but if you were to do that, you could actually do it uh, to make your tree trunk, have it roll up and make your branches. And then let's assume that you use 12 strands of it to make the base of your trunk. And then you have three strands going this way and then it starts to branch out. You will love how that tree turns out. Hopefully my description helps you decide how to glue that down if you want to. If not today, we're gonna be drawing the tree. But if you'd like to, one of our volunteers, Laura, also gave you some trees that you can choose to glue down. And so that is another option. And so today uh, I'm going to show you what all comes into the kit. You have all of these printables. We are going to be putting these printables up for sale. They aren't up for sale yet, but aren't they just the cutest things? Um, those are on regular 20 or 24 pound paper. These are on cardstock. And that can be your base for your little city once you cut things out. I will do that today as well. Then you also have these houses that are three-dimensional. You cut them apart, you glue it together. I'm not going to be doing that. I think it's self-explanatory. You just fold on the dotted line and you cut on the solid lines. And it does say that on there on the instructions. And then... You can decorate it with the included creations from our very own Jean Peter. I think these are all yours, right, Jean? Yes. And you can make these houses, either cut them out and make them a template because it is also on cardstock, or you can glue the papers down to make it a collage onto your houses. But you go choose how you want to do that. And I cut apart some fussy cuts in advance of this video. I'm going to do a, uh, yeah, let's do this first. Let's just glue these down first. And for the sake of it being quick, I think I'll just use a glue stick. 
um, which we often give in the monthly kits. Jean and I both actually. Jean sends to more hardests than I send to more happy packers. The other day I did the math on how many glue sticks we use and how much we use a year. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was, but about knocked my socks off. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think. Let's see. What if I just did a tree scene like this, Jean? And didn't I just cut out another house? What did I do with that house I cut? Hi, Janice. Hey there, Janice. What if I, I was just going to only do the tree, but having this kit here, I want it now. Now I'm just going to do the tree. I'm going to do the tree. Don't change it up, Care. All right. See? Y'all, I get a little wild. All right. Let's lay this down. And I'm going to try my best to be willy-nilly because one of the things I don't do very well You guys are like, what are you doing? I think like this in collage, so that's how I do it. Make sure it all goes in. Jean, you're laughing at me right now, aren't you? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't believe that you can use too much glue when you're doing collage. I just don't. There we go. My house goes here. It will dry. You won't see the purple. So don't stress about that, you guys. Get my edges down all nice. In a normal world, I would also be gluing the top of this, but I don't want you to be thinking, I can't see that. Look how purple it is. And where's my credit card to smush it down? That's why I use the purple glue, so I can see where the glue is. So you can see where it's been. Yeah. That's what makes the glue stick work, right there, burnishing it. Oh, absolutely. If you don't burnish it, your stuff's going to peel right up. Well, unless you use a high quantity of glue, which happened. Oh, look at that. I just ran out on the glue stick. That's funny. I have another one over off to the side. Yep, that is not going to give me any more. Hold your britches, y'all. The universe is. So true, Janice. Should have taken a pow. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. I never put it in the same places anyway. Now you guys aren't going to have the benefit of seeing... Oh, come on now. There we go. My tree is on a hill. It's not meant to be right next to my house. We can draw that in later. See, it was right there. Actually, the pattern in the back of it does have a hill. When you put that tree there, you see the hill. You do, right? I'm glad you see it. It's in my head. All right, so these are really big, which means they go in the foreground. What are they? They're little wooden rounds that I already cut out of Laura's oh. fussy cut. Isn't it cute? Yeah. My hub's just painted, actually. Um, he's still painting, I shouldn't say, already did but he's still painting um, the wooden rounds as a wedding present for, for my son. He's doing one for my son and one for the wife to be. You can burnish with your fingers too. It happens. Yeah.
Y'all think I'm a hot mess, I'm sure, by now. No, we're pretty used to it. <laughs> That's probably true, even. I am practicing my willy nilly, you know, where you're trying really hard to not overthink things. So my pumpkins are going to be my lights. We have solar lights with pumpkins in our backyard. See, I was imaginarily at your house. Isn't that creepy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. And we keep up all year long, too. <laughs> I think I like that right there. We could be off in the distance right here. Oh, no, I like it right there. All right, so this is going to be partially behind the house right here. And it's going to go right there. A little more cut off. It needs to be lower because it's so big. It's not glued down, so don't worry. Cute. And it'll go right there. Okay. Now, I do think that... I would like a little bit of grass right up front here. A little bit right there. Here and here. Way off in the distance will be my light. Right there. Cute little scene. That was fun though, wasn't it? That was adorable. The only thing that could have been more fun if I had one here to do it with you. <laughs> I love things like this. I really do. When Laura was talking about making this, I was like, I can't wait. I get to play with this one. It is a good background, too. Oh, my gosh, right? Because you can start to see how it lays itself out. She has another background that she gives you that's blue, but I love this green one. All right. I sometimes burnish with the backside of my lid, too. Oh, yeah, that's the best one. Right? <laughs> because it's always there. It's it's right next to you. It wants to go down right there. Oh my gosh, my last piece. My last piece going on right here. There I love go. autumn too, Janice. You know, all, all right. the times they ask you which favorite holiday, mine is always Thanksgiving. Mine is always Halloween. All right, there you go. Isn't that cute? That was a lot of fun. See a fun little scene. Right, I love the lid. The lid is like the perfect little burnisher. Now, if you want to, like I said, everyone is getting wet glue in their kit. So if you want to, go ahead and let's pretend I opened this because I don't want to open it. I want it to be perfect for the person who receives this. Um, let's go ahead and just grab a few. And we're going to bling up our page using the wet glue. Since I know I'm going to be using a lot of wet glue, I'm going to go ahead and just squirt it in here. Oof. I need to. I'm squishing hard. Okay. I just have it in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use what random colors I pulled out and decide where they go. I probably shouldn't have laid them on here because I did put glue everywhere. So hold your britches, let me take them off my page before they start sticking where I don't want them to stick, which will tear my papers. So oh, be ready. You know what? what? You could also make a scene and 
use those to decorate the house for Christmas. Oh my gosh, you totally could. You could save this for, that is cute. And there's definitely enough to use it for multiples. Because there's more than one house, right? Oh, there's four houses. You could have four seasons. Yeah. Okay. Now that I see the colors I have off to my left, do you see how I have three pumpkins and three little orange ones? Uh -huh. Those are definitely going to just have to. And don't laugh at me, Jean, but I often apply glue with a paintbrush. So I'm just going to put one orange little dot, way more glue than I need right there. Hush your mouth. That was way more glue than I need. It's going to eke out. It's going to be noticeable, and I'm not going to care about it, okay? It'll look bezel set. Yeah. <laughs> Try to center it when you over glue, guys. There we go. This one won't eke out as much. There we go. Oh my gosh. That's going to be cute. It's going to have like a little bling on each one of those. And I have two pink ones. So I think my chimney needs to have a little bling popping out my chimney right there. What do you think? A little chimney bling. Let me see how good it sticks. With a thinner coat, I have a feeling it's going to do a pretty good job. This is kind of like a test for you all as well. When I do these things to see how well things hold up. All right, so I have clear ones that came out of here, which makes me feel like I need smoke coming out of my chimney. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Get out that's of my head. Scary. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit right there. And for those of you who have glittery things, add glitter afterwards it's that would be adorable on here so i'm going to put a little smoky one right here don't forget the lamp post it could glow too well my lamp post i was thinking of having it glow blue and a little lamp right there oh that's not very nice i don't think i like the blue how about The base of it glows blue. No, I don't like that either. Hot diggity. The blue could be like a window in the door. Okay, a window in the door goes right there. Good job. I got distracted. I got to get this before my glue all dries. Some of my smoke's billowing the wrong way. And by the way, partly why I'm so messy is because... So many crafters are perfect. And then when you guys go to make something, you're like, oh my gosh, it never looks like my craft, like that crafter. But when you make something after I make something, you're saying, I need more clear ones. Then you're like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> and that's okay with me. Oh, look, 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 look. You're going to go right there. I need another big one. I think I want a clear one right here. I like the clear ones. Oh, that's too big. Let's do small ones for the clear ones. That's what we need next to the lamp is a little blank. Oh, see, it's just that it was too big. Yeah. It was too big. It needs to be little. All right. I would have already been frustrated picking up those little blingies. <laughs> right. That is such an idea. The blue background with the jewels and the lights. I love that idea. All right. We need another clear blingy. Oh, we found one. 
that's the royal we again. All right, here we go. All right. Silly but cute. All right, let me get my paintbrush. Any dots I left, I'm swirling. And this is where it would be so cute if you had glitter, for those of you who like glitter. Janice says a pillow on the bench. Oh my gosh, we need a pillow on the bench. I think, we. what color have we not used yet? We need a green pillow on the bench. Can you imagine how much Lark is going to love this, Jean? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. They are so sweet. You got to love a place that gets so excited when you drop stuff off. All right. Pillow on the bench. Perfect. I, I just want to say it's done. I think it's cute. I think it's done. Yep. All right, so we just had a little bit of fun with our um, job of laying it out, but now I want to get a little more wild. So I set that behind me to dry. I'm going to lay out a bunch of these and flip them over in advance. I think I want a few more and I want them to be wild. All I'm going to do in advance, because I've already got something in my head, is I want to pull outside anything that's green, because I don't want any of my leaves to be green. I'm going to pull aside anything that's clear, because I don't want any of my leaves to be clear. You guys are going to suffer with me for a minute. While I take a nap. Yeah, go take a nap. Well, I just quickly, oh, my fingers are sticky. I should have done this before my fingers were sticky. <laughs> All right, the clear is coming out. Put the clear aside. Janice says, if you have one finger a little sticky, it helps pick up the flats. That's true. That's definitely true for the tiny ones when you're working with the tiny halfbacks. Oh my gosh, it's heavenly. Why not no green? Because that's my grass on the bottom. Uh, Instead of being the right way where I have all the green on the tree, I want all the green on the ground. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. All right. Oof, I ended up with a lot of clear and green. I could do it the other way around, given how much green I have. Yep, green's going to go on the tree as the leaves, and now all the other colors are going to be the ones that fall, like the normal world, even though Care's not a fan of the normal world. Oops, blue snuck in. But you're going to have blue leaves. That's not normal. Okay, thank you. At least I have something that's not normal. Do you think this is enough for the leaves? I don't feel like it is. Oh, we might no. have, we have to pull some more out. Personally, I would have just done all of them. Oh, really? Yeah, because anything that's in the tree is going to fall anyway, and it might not turn colors before it falls. Well, what if I put mostly green and then a few of the other colors as they fall? That would work. I mean, I am tempted to just turn this into a pineapple instead of a tree. Because do you see how perfect this green would be for the top of your pineapple? Yep. Yeah, there's, you do not have to make a tree. If you think of a different image as you're creating it, you can make a pumpkin. You can make anything. There's enough bling in your bag to make whatever you feel like making on that canvas. Probably. 
I don't know if it's enough to fully fill a single canvas, but it's a lot. I might have enough clear to make the clear my trunk instead of drawing the trunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's looking that way. Y'all did not want to see me flipping all these over, but I could not have done the flip in advance unless I made this a separate video. This is fun, crafty fun, isn't it? Y'all are like, that's not fun for me. Kara's like, I'm a Virgo. I get to sort something. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have spent a lot of time sorting little things like that at the bead store, so I don't sort too much anymore. Not little. I sort everything else, though. You got it. I still sort so much. It's like one of these, 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 one of these. But do you see my version of sorting this time is everybody gets a huge handful of these. I mean, if it fits, it goes in there. I don't think you could shove any more in there. All right. We're ready to play. There's one green that escapade. There we go. Oh, definitely. Gonna have some fun with this. All right. I definitely want to do. Am I on screen enough, Jean? I think so. Yeah, I think so. There. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Um, I am going to paint this base. And this is why you're getting the foam brush. When you think of a trunk, your trunk is typically more than twice as wide as the I'm going to go twice as wide as the branches. I'm going to go with the big ones on the left. Janice says there's never enough yellow or amber. No. And I agree with that. Even when I worked at the bead store, yellow and amber colored beads were always a hard find. There's, there's a good amount of that orangey yellow in this mix right here that I really like. Mm-hmm. I like that one. And there's regular yellow in there. Oh my gosh, you'd think I had planned that. I did not plan it to work out exactly the height. All right, now I'm just going to fill it in randomly. I'm sure there's a better way to set it down, but my fingers are happy doing it this way. And when you're spreading on the glue, be generous. Do not just put a tiny bit of glue and try to conserve your glue because your thing is not going to stick. You wish you were playing, Jean. Yep. I can feel it. And something to keep in mind, everyone, the process of creating art, actually putting it together is what gives you those little endorphin kicks, uh, the dopamine kicks, whatever it is you want to call it. Um, that bring you into that positive space. Even if all the world is falling apart all around you, you start to create art and you do feel differently. 
think I'm going to make it narrow up there when I eventually get up there. Good morning, Sherry. Anybody can get a canvas board. I am selling because I made 273 of them. <laughs> selling. Um, for once, we made more than we have Happy Packers. Isn't that funny? Uh, happy Packers and Hardest. But I am selling the baggies of these things. Because I even have more than I have in the baggies. I think that needs a little dabble of glue right there. I think that's what I would have done too, Janice, is use the dot of glue. What? She says, I'm so weird, I guess. I put a big dot of tacky glue everywhere. I'm going to stick one. Oh, you know, I am going to do that for the, the leaves. It's just I brushed it on for the trunk so I could fill the trunk in. And by the way, now it really helps having the sticky finger. <laughs> All right, now I need to get down to the bottom here. We have a blingy tree trunk. Um, I didn't leave any for the mysterious branches. So I am just going to take these three. Four, I'm going to take these four and just put them on. Okay, so now I'm going to go around my board and dot everywhere. Doing green next after I do these silver ones. Now my finger's not sticky enough. I need sticky again. There we go. Okay. I'm going to do the green. So if you're conserving on your internet, then essentially you can just visualize that they're all just glued down and you've got yourself a wild blingy tree which would look really pretty if light hits it This is going to be my photograph to send with the kit, by the way. However it turns out, it doesn't matter one way or the other. I've seen some things done in bling, but I've never seen a whole canvas done in bling. I have seen a whole canvas done where people glued down seed beads, and boy, that must have been a hassle. Can you imagine those rolling around everywhere, how hard it would be? Yeah, and being glass, they would need a substantial amount of glue. Yeah, that too. So it really helps that these are flat on the backside. I couldn't imagine the hassle of them rolling around. Great, great concept, Janice. Freeform homemade diamond dot painting. Oh my gosh, that's so true. Essentially the same thing. You know what it reminds me of though, Jean? And I have this nearby, so as soon as I cover every glue dot, I'm gonna walk over to the, yep, I have it easily accessible too. I'm gonna walk over to the table over there and go get something because this is such a cute concept to do freeform diamond dot painting. You don't even have to, I hate being told what color to put somewhere. Although I am being quite normal right now by putting green for the tree. Don't put too many dots down. 
because the glue does start to dry. Mine's not dry yet, but just saying, it happens. And we are not making fine art, but you could make fine art if you wanted to using gel medium and, you know, whatever base layer you wanted to do in the back. I am more of an artist that enjoys the process. I was just thinking it would be cool if the glue was colored. Oh, yeah. You know, glitter glue, too, would be great with this. That way it's something, it sometimes surrounds it. Oh my gosh, did I just do the last one of the glue things? Let me let me go get the idea I have right now. Have you ever seen those books that tell you what to do with your perler beads? You could oh. You could totally do that on a different scale with these guys. I mean, these are all pretty big, but let's say you just wanted to do a letter. I'm sure that you just go look up perler beads and you could do a whole canvas like that, just one letter. And it doesn't have to be all one color either. And then it shows you how to lay it out. Oh, there's littler ones. The little parrot would be cute. That one right there. So you could find any pattern. You could find a cross stitch pattern mm -hmm. or a bead pattern, you know, for like seed bead stitching. Yep. Just keep in mind that these are a lot bigger than the beads. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way bigger. Yeah. And, but they are at least various sizes. So that makes it nice to um, go in and put all your sizes in. All right, so let's just add a bunch more. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Hold, hold your britches, because I'm a right-handed person. I'm just gonna slide these over to the right. Slide to the left, Shh. slide to the right. Yeah, we're dancing, sorry. All right, and now I'm gonna put a bunch of glue dots. Even putting down the glue dots is very entertaining for me. Are you counting them? No, but it would be something I normally do. I know. When I do things that are multiple, like putting down dots or whatever, I count. Always. I don't always count out loud. I just always count. Okay. These are going to be my ones that are up high. So I want bigger ones to be flying around. I noticed that I'm grabbing bigger ones to cover my accidentally put too much glue down dots. <laughs> that is a nice feature of having multiple sizes. Okay. I love all the colors. Oh, it's going to be so much fun when it's done. Yeah, I'm going to set aside all the blue. The blue doesn't get used. Is there much room at the top where you could put a little cloud? I could. I could, I think. If I was doing this by myself and no one was watching me, I'd probably hunt my entire bag for as much blue as possible to make to make some kind of a sky thing up high. Oops, I almost grabbed a blue. See, it looks like a tree that's just perfect for this time of the year when the leaf, just some of the leaves turn. Oh, they're gonna fall too in a few spots. I just wanna get all the big ones out of the way. But your leaves down there don't turn colors in the fall, do they? What's fall? <laughs> <laughs> we have we have 
um, early summer, we have a couple of cold days, and then we have late summer. Do you know that my birthday actually is the, the peak day or the middle day of hurricane season? Oh. Yeah. The blue is out of my way. If I was crafty enough, I think I'd turn that blue into an object on the bottom. That would be cute. A little park bench. Yep, the bench was the first thing in my mind, but I don't know how quite to make it a bench. Could make it a swing. I could see that happening. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can do a swing. Oh, my gosh, it's already cute. I don't think I want it fully full. You know what I mean? You know, when you were discussing this project, that's what I envisioned was fully full. And now that I see this, I'm not so sure. You know, something else that would be fun is to make a um like a whole willy wonka garden <laughs> oh my gosh can you imagine how cute that would be having like goofy stuff I, mean, I was thinking a dr seuss tree yeah you know oh you could even make um a charlie brown tree if you were in the mood to do a christmasy one i think i'm gonna do one more layer where it's too gappy for me and then drop a couple. Maybe I drop a couple first. So let's drop a couple first. Move my blue out of the way. I don't really want the purple in there either. No blue, no purple. Y'all do whatever you want to do. Oh, now I see the blue and the purple, and I want to put like a little something in there. It looks like lake water when you see the blue and the purple next to each other. All right. So now we have all these oranges and pinks left. And we're just going to get the big, oops, we'll close it off, get the big spot. Oops, I made those too big. Right there, maybe one there, one there. This one's missing and that one's missing. So we'll put those in. You know, this is also really good for not overthinking, just putting it down. So the people who are overthinking maybe a bit too much might be a good project for them to settle themselves back in. Yeah, now I need you here. Oops, that's too much. And yeah, right there. Sue says, you have any googly eyes you could put in the tree? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just divvied out, I think, all of those finally. I used to have so many. I So what happened, Jean? You're going to laugh at me for this. So I ordered googly eyes from Dollar Tree one time a long, long time ago. You might have even ordered it and shipped it to me. Um, and when when I got them... I then opened all the bags and I sorted them, right? So everybody got a handful of googly eyes. 
I forgot that I had ordered them. So everybody got one. <laughs> so, so I ended up with so many extra googly eyes that I decided to sort them into this is the Virgo in me. Yes, I sort, I sort, I sort. But um, I decided to sort them into big googly eyes and little googly eyes. And there were different projects given with both. But yeah, it's kind of funny. All right. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest with you. It looks like my tree is crying. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't like it. Well, you got a credit card there. Scrape it off. Right? I don't like it at all. See if I like it lower. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just too many of them. Yeah, maybe. Looks like a dog get ready to take a hike on the tree. <laughs> that would be so funny to be able to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't like them falling. I don't. So, yep. Sorry, guys. You guys do your own, however you want to do yours. But I don't like this. So I'm going to take you right here, scrape you right off. And it never happened. Yeah, I still like it just as the tree. It's just cuter to me. So now we're going to have a blue swing. That's just it. So this side gets the swing. This would be much better if um, if you did it with glitter, though, I think. Three of these. And for those who don't get the happy pack, if you've got tons of buttons, that would be really cute, too. Oh, my gosh. That would be cute. You know, Jean, if you want, I can make a bunch of extra ones. You can put them in your um, auction. That would be awesome. I mean, um, I don't have to make any extras on the... I mean, because we're not going to sell very many in the auction on these guys. Oops, I just knocked them over. We're not going to sell many extras on those. So I'm sure that I'll have plenty of extras for you to just photograph and put in the auction. Hawkshin. For those who don't know what a hawkshin is, it's the one where the hardest earn credits. That's too big, too big. I think I like this. The swing part. Mm -hmm. Um they earn credits by sending in things they've made and then they get to spend those credits buying things they can use to create with in addition to what they receive in their monthly kits so it's extra stuff they receive and it helps us out having those little extra goodies to include in an auction or um include in our thank yous Yep. Angels love getting the hardest made something. And we're still giving two auction credits for every ATC made. Nudge, nudge if you're a hardest and you're watching. <laughs> and also there's a list on our website under hardest programs or defy programs that tells you what kind of things we look for. I think that's kind of, I mean, it's an obvious swing, right? Oh, okay. yeah. And you could use your pencil to draw a little girl or boy sitting on the swing. <laughs> All right. So our little girl's going to have some hair right there. She might have her eyes closed. Little smile to a little shape of her face. Oh, I kind of made her arm a little small, but it's okay. She's holding on. She's for dear life because she's stuck on care swing. That's so cute. 
<laughs> uh, let's give her some clothes. So you could make this as simple as you want or as complex as you want. All right. Well, now I want to put some color below her. Let me see how it looks before I glue the crap down, though. Maybe? No. No. All right. All done. I'm happy. This will, this will dry. You guys make it however you want to make it. I still want to do a pineapple one day. <laughs> There's just something about that green that looks like the pineapple leaves. It could be just truly that I went to uh, Home Depot recently and they were selling the pineapple to grow. And it's just cute. Oh, by the way, you don't have to do it free form. You can take the printable that's in your kit and actually just decorate each one of those if you want to on, on your on your canvas board. So you decorate your canvas board with whatever. I want to keep calling it a diorama. What is it supposed to be called? It's called something. And um, you can decorate it that way if you want to. Or these will last you a long time if you're a paper crafter and you just want to put one, two or three bling. By the way, a good rule of thumb, which if there is a rule in art, the rule is to always break the rules. But besides that, um, another good rule of thumb is to do things in odd numbers. So when you're setting something up, it's visually appealing if you have three, five or seven when you group them together rather than an even number. I don't know exactly why it works that way, but it does seem to work. It's visually appealing. But with that, now you've seen the kit. You've seen a little display of what you could make if you wanted to. It was a lot of fun. I'll tell you, I'm sure that Jean is very jealous right now. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Put an alien in the swing would be so funny. <laughs> Darn, I should have done that. I should have done that. All right. Well, love and hugs, everyone, and enjoy the bling. Take care.